Cherie. And I'm Chris. And we're going for a walk and we thought we'd share some thoughts with you um, as we're kind of in this transition phase ourselves between it's, one lifestyle to another. And so we're going to be talking to you about change and change in life and the feelings that go along with that. Uh, so for a quick recap, if you've been following along, we started looking for a boat back in October and that's all now coming together and we'll be sharing details of that later but um, <laughs> almost here <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> um so yeah when you're doing change whether maybe you yourself are um, gearing up to hit the road whether by rv or boat or airplane or backpack or whatever mm -hmm. you're doing or switching careers or maybe you are an rv and contemplating settling down <laughs> part-time uh -huh. um change it, it, so. It's all about change. It's, and I think that's the only constant in life, really. <laughs> it, yes, uh, ch chain, changes aren't permanent, but uh, changes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, and it, it, I think it's really when you announce a change. I mean, of course, you go through your own emotions. You know, you've got trepidations, you've got fears. Mm -hmm. Did I make the right choice? What's this new adventure going to be leading me towards? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I. Yeah, you they, thrive on it. I, 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 I love changing things up. Um, I, I get paralyzed because there's so many possibilities with change. Actually, I guess that's kind of how I emotionally respond sometimes is I get so stuck literally looking at a map sometimes, plotting out the possibilities that, you know, sometimes I have a hard time picking a direction and starting down. And I'm kind of the opposite is I love the process of making the decision and per starting to pursue it. So I feel best after the decision's been made. I think you feel best. In the po space of possibility when there's like 6,000 options <laughs> or 6 million options. <laughs> so we have to find balance in that between <laughs> us and, and we tend to. Um, and we'll just hold up a little bit here. Um, but um, you know, it's an emotional process too because when you announce the change to people in your life, they have their own reactions and they map their own experiences mm -hmm. to it. So whether it's people you care about, family, friends, um, we're very blessed. Most of the important people in our life have been a thousand percent supportive of well, everything mm -hmm. we've done. Yeah. I mean, they ask important questions like, what are you gonna do about? <laughs> Particularly when our early days when we were like, doing things that were so hard for other people to imagine themselves doing, like living in a ridiculously tiny trailer with without things like bathrooms and stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. um, and then there's, you know, if, if you're on social media and sharing your life publicly, there's the, the public reaction that some people uh, have. Backlash, but... But mostly, I mean... Mostly you, your fans are supportive. Or your, your friends true, are supportive. True fans, and thank you for all of you who have been completely supportive of this, this transition in our lives um, and every transition we've made along our journey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a few. There's people who don't know you. Um, they have this projected image of and, who you are and what you're capable and of. And every so often, you get <laughs> like these strange messages from people. Is like, how dare you change what you're doing? You're you're supposed to be an RVer, and how you're going to get a boat? That's wrong, and you're you're going to sink. Thank or, you. <laughs> Go away, please. <laughs> you know, it happens. And, and you know, everyone. It's not very many of them. <laughs> and thankfully, it is minor. And, um, but yeah, you know, we're seeing a lot of changes in our own nomadic community over the last year or so. Well, it, always. But, always. But there's a lot. But, I mean, there's, there's RVers that are choosing to go to get home bases or settling down. There's RVers switching to boating. There's boaters there's switching boaters to RVs. switching to RVing. <laughs> um, um, and, and it's actually. I, I, less the personal pushback sometimes it's kind of that group pushback of like god there's so many rvers getting boats this is just like what's this the new trend this is awful like no the pe the, the whole point of the lifestyle is that we're out ex ex embracing serendipity embracing change embracing adventure and people's adventures change there's no formula for this stuff and that's what's great about it i think that's so important to remember is when you choose a label whether it's a professional label <laughs> or a label that describes your travel style or your lifestyle is don't get trapped into that as being a prescription for what you have to do always but use it more as a description for what you're doing now right and um don't don't make your decisions in your life based upon the reactions of others and 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 don't also feel like once you've made a set yourself down one course that you are personally committed or, or you'll be betraying your original vision it's like no your, your vision changes every step you take down a path like we're on 
the view ahead of you and the view behind changes. Your perspective is constantly changing. So let your plans adjust to that changes. And you really, really, I mean, life is about adventure. It's about pushing your boundaries and learning new uh -huh. things and experiencing new things. And doing what feels right. And if you keep doing the same thing all the time, you're not learning. Right. <laughs> so that's what we're most excited about, about this new upcoming change in our lives, is it's new challenges, yes. it's new adventures. Yes, we know we're going to make mistakes. Yeah, and it's, we know that some of those mistakes will probably be expensive mistakes. And you know, we, we, we appreciate the thoughtful, considerate warnings as opposed to the Oh you're gonna God. die or, or you know, do you realize how much money you're gonna spend on a boat and well, uh, yes we do actually <laughs> yeah people said the same things when we considered buying a vintage bus and it was an incredible adventure and it's not ending we're, and we're i don't our regret bus. a single decision we've made apart every mistake we've made we've learned from we've uh -huh. improved from it's pushed who we are it's pushed yeah. our pushed our knowledge pushed our adventures and um we love RVing, but where there's no only there's no really new adventures that we can have out of it. I mean, besides well, no, locations, of there's always new adventures. But we're ready to start mixing it up. We're ready for some new challenges. Um, we're ready to to give ourselves a little shake of the snow globe and have some some new, totally new things. Things that have us scratching our head again. <laughs> and figuring out new things, and new logistics, and finding a new balance for ourselves. And we will be still RVing part of the year. Um, in the, the winters as we head north yeah. Up, yeah. Uh, up into Canada and yeah. stuff like We're that. Looking forward so. to that. And actually that'll reinvigorate us on RVing, I think, too, is having that coming back to the bus will be very exciting times. So, yes, we're incredibly excited about this upcoming adventure. Um, I think the excitement is far outweighing any of the minor <laughs> little um, concerns that we have. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's... <laughs> It's just been interesting to see some of the comments that we've gotten on it. And uh, we're just so blessed, though, that the support has been over the top amazing. And um, that people do recognize this is our lives. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what, with Technomadia, it's our personal name. I mean, yes. it's technology and nomadism, and nothing that, uh, is changing about that. Yeah, that, that's basically <laughs> been a constant in both of our lives, essentially, forever it's <laughs> you know, i was a geek living in the jungles of indonesia when i was in third grade so no, uh, nothing uh, changes travel uh, and tech i grew up traveling and my dad was a high-tech guy back in the 70s and travel was always an integral part of my upbringings too so this is just a continuation <laughs> of our personal journeys and um and it's not really a departure from anything that we've been doing it's more of an addition to what uh -huh. we've been doing and that's so, not babbling about that. We're super excited. Yeah, we're about to start the next chapter, at literally a next major chapter. And we're very excited to see how this all comes together. We're just days away. Yep. Uh, by the end of this week, we just completed all of our paperwork. It's all in the hands of the paperwork gods. <laughs> and um, by the end of this week, we should be boat owners. We should be sleeping on a boat for our first time, for a small boat anyway. <laughs> so um, <laughs> we are excited to give you a tour of it, to share our decision process of why yeah. we chose what we did, and well, to yes. share what we did choose. So as soon as, yeah, as, soon as we're past that uh, voodoo phase, of not jinxing wanting to it. jinx anything. <laughs> We're so close. Once once the boat is ours, we will tell you what it is, why we picked it, and um, show it off. So soon, very soon. But for now, we just wanted to kind of capture this moment. So thank you. <laughs> and enjoy the changes in your life. <laughs>